May I have your attention for just a couple of minutes, please? Seventy percent of Americans claim to be Christian. And most of those would say they are born again. Believe it or not, the most terrifying verse in all of the Bible addresses, addresses these that say they're Christians. It's found in Matthew chapter 7, verse 23. The Lord Jesus Christ is describing an event called Judgment Day. And on that day, he says there will be many, many religious people, many that claim to be Christians. Millions of Christians will stand before him and they'll say, Lord, Lord, we knew you, remember me? We did many wonderful works in your name. We fed the homeless, we gave money to the poor, we were involved in church. We even went on a short-term mission trip. We told people we were Christians. And then Jesus Christ will tell them these most terrifying words. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in iniquity. Can you imagine how terrifying it would be to think that you're right before God, that you're a Christian, that you're saved, that you're promised heaven, and you stand before Jesus, and he says, I never knew you. Depart from me. Terrifying. It would be like taking your last couple of breaths before you die, thinking everything is okay, you're on your way to heaven. You're on your way to heaven, but the feet coming down the hall are not coming to take you to heaven. Paul Washer, a very famous, prominent, contemporary pastor, gives this illustration. He says, imagine I've been invited to come and speak at a meeting that you have arranged, and I'm late, and I come to you and I tell you the reason I'm late is I had a flat tire, in the midst of changing the tire, the lug nut rolled out into the middle of the freeway. Without thinking, I ran out there to grab the lug nut, and here comes a 30-ton logging truck going 110 miles an hour, and he runs me down. That's why I'm late. And you would say, Brother Paul, Brother Paul, it's absolutely impossible to have an encounter with something as big as a logging truck and not be changed. And my question to you, is which is greater, a logging truck or God? Why is it in America, and even on this very campus, that so many people claim to have an encounter with the living God, with Jesus Christ, and are not permanently changed? You see, oftentimes we come to Jesus, we want Him to save us, but we don't want to surrender to Him as Lord. He's basically an accessory in our life, like our laptop computer or piece of jewelry. We haven't yielded totally to Him as Lord of our life. We don't want to live for Him. This is why the Bible commands us to test yourself. Examine yourself. It's talking to Christians. Examine yourself to see whether you're in the faith. Are you a true believer? Have you truly been born again? Have you truly surrendered to Jesus Christ as Lord? Folks, it's not a works religion. It's what God does in the heart. We're saved by faith and trust and surrender and repentance towards Jesus Christ and that work that He's done on the cross, the shed blood, the resurrection. But God changes the heart. And we have eternal life and we desire to honor Him, to live for Him, to glorify Him. And I'm going to challenge you before the sun goes down today to make sure you're right with God. Don't put this off. Tomorrow may be too late. Surrender to Him as Lord and Master, and then follow Him, live for Him, obey Him, glorify Him, delight in Him. That's why you were created, to know Him. I appreciate your attention in these matters. I hope you have a wonderful day. May God bless you.